we are headed to Cracker Barrel today. I could not tell you the last time that I've been to a Cracker Barrel and we're not even gonna go there to eat. We are Halloween home decor hunting. So this was not on my list of places to check out this year. However, I received quite a few DMs the other day that I should check this place out. That they have not only some really cool items, but they have some seriously fun mugs. So I just like pulled it up to see if there's a Cracker Barrel near me within like 40 to 50 mile radius. And it turns out there's one literally one and it's about 45 minutes away so we're gonna go check it out i did pull up the site it wasn't correlated to this one specifically though so they had like a halloween section which i didn't look too much into it because again it's not this specific one i'm going to who knows this might not have anything this might just be a done day and we're not gonna we're like we're gonna have to go somewhere else after this who knows there is one thing that i was really 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 excited about it's a coffee mug that looks almost like a cast iron skull the distressed work on it was beautiful and i think it's gonna go really really well for my apothecary theme which i'm doing for my kitchen and my coffee bar is in there too normally i do two separate themes, but I think I'm just going to do the same this year. Like we're just going to roll with that. Anyways, we're going to go and check that out. See if they even have anything because again, I haven't been there, so I don't know, but we're just going to get going. Let's see what they have. Anything at all at this point is going to be a win for me. This was so much better than I ever could have imagined and I'm pretty sure that I saw the entire setup of everything that they had except for two items and the only reason that I know that is because as soon as I walked through the door there was someone almost either they were waiting by the table or they saw me come in and with my like head to toe Halloween stuff they're like okay this person is looking for this they had told me the witch holding the lantern and the ghost holding the lantern they were already sold out they only got two for that store and it's been gone for a while now so if I'm looking for that they're really sorry but it's already gone I was like um I have no idea what you're talking about but thank you so very much and they pulled it up on their site and they're like this it's a really hot commodity. We have a lot of people coming in here and it's pretty much just gonna be my job for the rest of the day is telling people that we don't have this in our store anymore. A side note, those are really cool. And if they come back with them next year, the witch holding the lantern, I'm gonna have to write this down in my planner for Halloween next year. See if I can't get my hands on one of those. Anyways, things that I did see were still seriously amazing. First and foremost, the most important thing they did have the skeleton mugs and they were even cooler in person they have some weight to it though there are four of them there and 7.99 is i'm pretty sure what the price was which i was amazed i didn't look at the pricing ahead of time because i was like okay we're just gonna go and see if it's there right next to it there was this crushed skeleton and bone bowl which would be perfect for candy or popcorn, anything like that. But what I immediately thought of was a yarn bowl. And again, this thing had some weight to it. It wasn't just like lightweight plastic. It was pretty hefty. There was an entire setup for a spooky tree. And the ornaments were not just like plain basic, bat, pumpkin, maybe a ghost, something like that. Oh, they were fun and they had a lot of monster theme. There was one that looked like a monster hand coming out of the tree. They had a couple of them that made noises, which I didn't push any of the buttons because everything that they had out that either blinked, made noise, was motion reactive all of the batteries were in there and the items were turned on what a chandelier oh my gosh can we talk about that for a couple of seconds that thing chef's kiss chef's freaking kiss the thing was so cool it just it was such a statement piece so those couple of pieces just by themselves was more than worth me making the drive to check all these things out 
they had these adorable salt and pepper shakers. It was just a huge bin that was 99 cents and you kind of like dug around through there. They had some skeleton kitties and a couple of other different variation of coffee mugs. Honestly, once I saw the mug that I had went there for initially, I just kind of was like anything else at this point is just icing on the cake. I did ask the human how long has it been set up because after they knew that I wasn't there, to ask about the witch with a lantern they seemed much more friendly um and they'd said that it had been set up for a good week and a half now and that most of the stuff that they had out like that was it they didn't have any doubles or triples in the back which is kind of what i guessed because everything that was stacked up it was either like three or four of them some of the bigger items that like glowed and the chandelier there was two of them so there was one hanging up and then there was a box underneath all of the other stuff so i had to make sure to look through all the boxes underneath because some of the items were out but some of them were still in the box because obviously someone had purchased the one that was out for display i wanted to make sure that i saw everything there was this really cool lantern post that had a dragon perched on top of it and when i walked in front of it it glowed red there's a crystal ball that had a spider on top of it that glowed and swirled glitter that thing was amazing there was a tv that had a witch on it and it had a similar effect to the sparkling glowing crystal ball the glitter was moving there was lighting in the background that was changing colors there was an area that had costumes out already it looked like it was only kids and toddler type of costume but just the fact that there were costumes out already there was a little bit of hand soap that was amazing the bottle was so cool it was kind of like mad scientist type of decor it had a couple of books one was sleepy hollow classic if you don't have that i feel like it's totally necessary for a spooky library then there was another book that had ghost stories like based on true events, kind of short stories all packed together. The last one that I saw was an Edgar Allan Poe selection. So there was like a bunch of different of his all put together. The pumpkin lantern post. I just feel like there's so many things and combinations and possibilities that could happen with it. Real big fan of that one. And then they had a bunch of variation of candles. I loved the witch's cauldron candle it had like eyeballs floating in it and i think it would be amazing as it burned down like it's one of those candles that's only gonna get better the more it gets used then you have a cauldron after it's completely done to use for like stitch markers scissors notions stuff like that i did end up getting a couple of things and i remembered my bag this time first up obviously i had to snag the mug $7.99 exclusively for Cracker Barrel. Is it microwavable safe? I think so. Or dishwasher. That's really what I'm more interested in. Yeah, dishwasher and microwavable safe. I personally think that I'm going to hand wash it, but I just hand wash all of my spooky mugs. First mug of the season. So excited about that. The last thing that I got that just I couldn't leave it behind the skeleton bowl just so perfect for a yarn bowl and it kind of smells like syrup <laughs> like pancakes and syrup so i'm interested to see if my yarn is now gonna smell like pancakes too i wouldn't be mad about that i just think that's so funny camera overheated oh my gosh i knew it was hot out but like i had the air on so i wasn't even really thinking about it anyways now we can see the yarn bowl in the yarn dungeon and it's freaking epic we have the rib cage the crushed skulls oh my gosh this thing is so flipping cool i have some of my halloween yarn somewhere i'll go grab that and like check it out just like see what it looks like and again sticker get off of there fantastic skull mug it doesn't say how much it holds but i don't know i would guess probably 12 ounces Okay, I have some of this yarn, which is called Witch's Brew. This is eight ounces of yarn. There's still more room for maybe one more ball. So I could get 16 ounces of yarn in here. So if I wanted yarn that completely stays inside the bowl, let's try these. What are you? 100 grams. How many of these can I fit in? Two, 200 grams, that's pretty good. 
Right now though, I am finishing up. This is my last cardigan out of four Halloween cardigans that I'm making. So I think we're just gonna plop that right in there. All right, ghouls, I'm gonna let you go, but thank you for spending the day with me checking out Cracker Barrel 2023 Halloween home decor lineup. I hope you had a fantastically spooky time and I will see you in my next video.